What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brad and we're back at it again. To pot or not to repot? That is the question. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why it is important that you make sure that you repot your plants when they're ready. People say, or some people say, that some plants like to be root bound. That's not necessarily true. The whole myth about plants liking to be root bound really derived from the fact that a lot of times people overwater their plants. If your plant is root bound or severely root bound, the chances of you overwatering your plants essentially diminish because you don't really have that much soil to hold on to the water necessary in order for that root rot to set in. So I have two plants. Both of these are ficus audries. And these plants were gotten at the exact same time. One was repotted, one was not repotted. I let them grow for a full season last year and I wanna show you what they look like today. So here are the ficus audries. So ficus audrey one, ficus audrey two. And again, these were gotten at the exact same time and they also were grown in the exact same conditions. One was repotted, one was not. Last season when this one wasn't repotted, the growth of the ficus audrey essentially stunted. On the other hand, when you look at this ficus audrey, it has essentially doubled in size. They were watered in the exact same frequencies, the exact same time, and the only difference is one is in a smaller pot than the other. So I want to go ahead and repot this ficus audrey. It most likely isn't gonna catch up to this one because they do grow fairly fast and they also readily branch, which is why this is one of my favorite ficuses. But I do want to go ahead and put it in this new pot so it can hopefully start growing more robustly. I also want to point out that I do have this staked, but it's loosely staked. I discourage staking primarily because you need that strong stem. And the only way you'll get this strong stem is if you have movement in the stem itself. So a lot of times what you'll see with staking is that the staking will be done in such a way that you'll have no movement at all. So this discourages your plant from developing a thick, a thick stem and trunk. Now, I'm staking this one because the main stem was actually growing in a bit of a curve. So this stake is only being used not as a support for the upward growth, but to try and get it to be more vertical. So I'll keep the stake in for maybe a month or so, and we'll see what it looks like once I pull that stake out. I also want to point out the sheer leaf size. Now, if you look at these ficus audrey, which I absolutely love because they just have this very velvety feel to them. It really does feel velvety. The leaves have gotten a pretty big size, which is good. That's what you want to see. And again, like I said, these branch fairly easily with not that much coaxing. So I still have the main vertical stem but then i also have all of these branches and activations that are happening down here so awesome okay if you like videos like this and want to see more videos about tips and tricks about house plants and tropical house plants please be sure to subscribe to my channel totally free would mean a lot thank you so much now back to the video so now let's get to this one the leaves have essentially stunted in size so they're they're fairly small and what I'm going to do is I'm going to repot this. Into this. The reason why I want to do that again is because I want to give it the best possible opportunity to become larger. It's only going to reach a finite size if it stays in this pot. And that's not what we want. We want to try to get those big mature trees because those big mature trees are what is really, really cool. And like I said, these grow really fast. So the fact that this is not growing fast is, is really sad, but had to do it for the video. I really wanted you to see what it looks like when you don't upsize your pot. And I also wanted to show you that it is important to upsize your pot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this small ficus out of its pot just so you can see the root ball. I want you to see that when I lift it up, 
everything is going to be intact which is what we want now it might be difficult for you to be able to see how root bound it is because the root system might not necessarily be wrapped all the way around the pot yet but nonetheless i do know that it's root bound because of those smaller leaves that i was showing you as well as the fact that it's not growing nearly as aggressive as it should despite the fact that it's been given the exact same treatment as the big ficus here so let's go ahead and lift this plant out Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some cleaning up of this root ball. Just take some of these weeds out because it is growing outside. And then let's just go ahead and set it in place. Pretty good height, awesome. Now I am gonna go ahead and just take off some of these lower offshoots because that's not really the look that I wanna go for. And then finally, I'm gonna fill some soil around here as well. So now we have the ficus audrey planted in its new pot. It is a little asymmetrical, I'll say. So I might have to do something similar where I put in a temporary stake just so I can get it to grow more vertical. And then I also need to encourage some growth on this side, which is fairly bare. So I'm gonna turn it in such a way to where it's gonna get the most sun exposure on this side. So I'm gonna hopefully try to activate this growth point here. And we might have a growth point here as well. I mean, ultimately when you look side by side, as this tree develops, really it's about right in this area that I want to encourage the uh, growth all around. So fantastic. So there you have it. You really should, if you can, move your plant up to a greater pot size if it is root bound. Plants do not like to be root bound. With your plant having more space for root development, it will encourage more upward growth like you see in this ficus audrey compared to this smaller ficus audrey. Again, same growing conditions. The only thing that changed was one was repotted into a bigger pot and one remained root bound for an entire season. I hope this video was helpful and informative. And if it was, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. What?